Why did I think this was a good idea? Do you like this fish shirt I made? I made it when I was in fifth grade and it still fits. I'm also wearing a swimsuit because I am excited for summer. The problem is, is that it's December. There is snow on the ground. Granted, it's not a lot of snow, but it is snow. Because I'm like feeling a summer mood, I want a s'more. So making a s'more is pretty straightforward. You have the graham cracker, you have the chocolate, you have the marshmallow. You have to take the marshmallow that's not melted and melt the marshmallow. As I see it, there are four different ways that I can make a s'more right now. The first way is with a fire. And while we have a fireplace, it is taped up because it lets in cold air and that is not good. I can totally see myself in the reflection here. Number one, you can't cook over like that fire. The fireplace is fake and uses gas. The gas is used in the fireplace, would get into your food, and then you would die. Not a cooking fire, even if there was no tape on it. The second way is with Netflix. They have this show where there's like a fake fire burning for an hour. However, you can't roast a marshmallow over Netflix. The third method is the microwave. I feel like that's the most logical way, but that's boring. And then there's the fourth way, which nobody's ever talked about. Actually, I don't think anybody's ever talked about making one over Netflix, but that's not the point of this. The fourth way, and what we're gonna do today, is to melt a marshmallow in a sauna. Now, according to my trusted friend Google, it needs to be 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit to melt a marshmallow. The sauna gets a lot hotter than that. So assembling a s'more is very simple. So simple that I can do it. We have three different s'mores that are gonna be created here. Normally, actually, you roast the marshmallow and then you put it in the thing. I'm just gonna put this plate of pre-assembled s'mores into the sauna with myself. Yeah, so let's do it. I don't typically use saunas. This is my first time in one in years. The temperature is climbing here, and we need it to be, you know, 98 and a half degrees for these marshmallows to start melting. So I'm just sitting here, just waiting for it to get hot. So it's starting to feel a little toasty. The marshmallows are, you know, oh, no! So we just passed 100 degrees in here. We're at the point where these marshmallows should start melting or whatever. It's moments like this when I'm, you know, sitting in a sauna waiting for marshmallows to melt that I think like, what am I doing with my life? It's 123 degrees in here. The marshmallows are not melting, but I will not give up. It's 130 degrees. You can't wear a shirt when it's 130 degrees. Actually, you can, but that's, oh. I'm starting to understand where this would be calming, though. Like, I really get it. You get past the point of, like, it being so hot, you can't even stand it. And then you just sweat. And then you're just, like, in the here. And not the there. It makes more sense in my head than when I say it out loud. Meanwhile, the marshmallows are not melting in here. I've been in here for a while. I don't think it's gonna happen. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe. And, um... It's hot. Did you subscribe yet? Yeah.